turning heads and grabbing attention in Henrico for more than 50 years. In this Best Of, I Have a Story, we revisit the architect behind one of the most revolutionary buildings in Virginia, who's proving his vision was out of this world. It does look like a spaceship to me. <laughs> it looks like a flying saucer. Call it what you will. Or a wedding cake. Any way you slice it. I imagine it probably caused a bit of an uproar. The circular office building nestled in Willow Lawn commands attention. It's unlike any other architectural feature that we have. But the Markell building just off of Broad is only half as interesting <laughs> as its creator. Well, I'm Schultz. I know nothing. I really don't. I'm the dumbest guy you'll ever meet. <laughs> but good looking, the women like me. Haig Jemgochian, <laughs> a 93-year-old architect whose radical vision pushed the envelope in Richmond. I had never done it before. I just, I have a thing called imagination. That's a song. Imagination, I can sing. <laughs> the Markel Corporation hired this avant-garde architect to create its headquarters. I drew it up, showed it to the Markels. They didn't understand it. So I said, oh, I'll just make you a little model. So I made a model. After several redesigns. It's circular. Jam's creation was born. It has three levels. His inspiration. Have you ever seen a baked potato wrapped in aluminum? That's it. A band of crinkled metal that Jam helped shape and secure. Somebody handed me an 11-pound sledgehammer. And they went, pushed it right on in. Since opening in 1965. They got a lot of attention. The Markell building has been both celebrated and scorned. It was all in my mind. I had never done it before, but I just had a feeling. The self-deprecating jam remains uncomfortable with all of the attention. I got invited to churches, clubs, everything to make talks. Now, I don't talk. I just get up there and blab. Never deeming his accomplishments worthy. It makes it sound like I'm a somebody. I ain't a nobody. I'm going to show the next drawing. But many think otherwise. This is a detail of the third floor plan. Jam's collection of drawings, photos, and models. And here we've got the front elevation of the building. Now sits in the Library of Virginia's special collections. Going through his records, I just, I know that he is just a very unique character. The library's Dana Puga. He took everything into consideration says Haig's contributions should never be underestimated. Very futuristic, almost Jetsons-like. It's not something that you would expect to see even built in 2017. Well, let me think. You gotta have a reason first. Back at his home on Richmond's south side, Jam remains uncomfortable in the spotlight. Yeah, it is. It's uh, kind of embarrassing. I don't, I don't think of it as a uh, Look what I did. I don't think of it that way. But there's no denying Haig Jemgochian is leaving his mark on the landscape of Richmond. I don't know anything about architecture. I just do what I do. An architect ahead of his time. Yeah. Way ahead. <laughs> just like his crowning achievement in Willow Lawn, ready for takeoff. I didn't know it, but I was. I was out of sight. <laughs> Oh, that he was. That's Haig Jam Gochian. Well, Jam designed another revolutionary building in Richmond during his long, illustrious career. The Moon House, a residential home, sat on the James River until it was torn down in 2004. Jam passed away in 2019. The architect was 95 years old.